Hey astronauts, it's me, Brandy, and welcome back to Astro Tarot Research. We are back today with another pick a card, and don't mind my voice, it's just really late that I'm recording and I don't wanna wake anyone up. But this week's pick a card is what type of beauty are you? So I wanted to do this because I noticed a lot of people were interested in, uh, I guess, beauty and desirability. So I figured this would be a very interesting pick a card for those of you who are interested. <laughs> How many times can I say that word, right? Um, before we get started, I do want to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified. I also wanna let you know that I started a new channel that's going to focus more on the astrological so I just wanted to separate the tarot and the astrological videos and I know I had a video posted on this channel about the transit of Jupiter and Aquarius or Jupiter and Danishta and specifically if you want to talk about the next Satra, that video is on the channel and I will link that in the description box below for those who are interested. I'm still trying to figure out how to like market it so you guys understand just how important and prevalent that these transits are. It can sound complicated and foreign to a lot of people who don't know anything about astrology, but once you get the basics, you just see how eye-opening and just phenomenal it can be. So check out that video, even if you have no clue what Danishta is or what a transit is or what Jupiter does, I think it will be very impactful and insightful for those who just want to learn more about themselves or the world or astrology. So we have five piles to choose from today. We have pile number one, we have pile number two, we have pile number three, we have pile number four, and we have pile number five. I do want to say, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at astro underscore tarot research. And now that that's been said, just sit back, relax, and choose. Hey, pile number one. So we're going to get into what type of beauty are you? And let's not waste any more time. So we have the five of wands. We have the four, sorry, the, the five of pentacles. We have the Four of Cups, we have the Four of Swords, and we have the Hermit, I believe this card is. I'm trying to familiarize myself as much as I can with all the cards, and I'm, my brain is just like 10 and 15. No, 10 and 14. Is this Temperance? Okay, so no, this is Temperance. Should be the Hermit, you would think, with the staff, right? But it's temperance 14 um and we have mars oh uh, man interesting images on this deck so don't mind me i still haven't memorized the um it's like the african-american tarot deck so that's why my brain is just like what a card is this right okay so this is very very interesting what i get here um just based on the fact that we have mars um, in astrology, Mars is a planet that really deals and focuses on the body image in particular. A lot of Mars ruled women and men will receive throughout their life, um, especially throughout in childhood, some very strong moments and opinions and thoughts about their appearance. I just did the video on this with Danishta and I was talking about how Wendy Williams, who is a Danishta rising, it's a Mars rule placement. Uh, she used to have her parents get weighed, like her parents weighed her every day after school because they didn't want her to be overweight. And they didn't, um, obviously, I guess in their mind, it just didn't fit the standards or maybe they were concerned about her health or something like that. And you also have other Mars women like Marilyn Monroe, who is, you know, she was kind of known for her body. You have Megan the Stallion, another person who is Mars ruled, in particular Denisha ruled, who is known for her body as well. I mean, she even has a song called Body Adi 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 Adi. Um, so it's just a lot of, um, a lot of focus on the physical body when it comes to Mars ruled people. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a good thing sometimes it's not that pleasant but what this is trying to say is um the type of beauty you are is the type of beauty that people will find your body to be one of a strong contributing factors like probably the strongest contributor fact contributing factor onto where people will find you beautiful um or where they see their beauty in you okay so maybe you have a body that matches um the societal image or maybe you focus on um feeling looking for that looking at that image 
looking like that image or maybe even some point you don't even feel like you fit that image because we do have two fives here and fives I've noticed when I've got those they tend to have to do with feeling conflicted or feeling like you have to like compete or stand up to like an image or um, you get a lot of haters or something like that or maybe it feels like oh um, you know there's a lot of competition sometimes between men and women but a lot more between women when it comes to competing for like looks and you know dressing a certain way looking a certain way conforming a certain way um and etc and so what these cards are all really saying here is it's saying that you seem like you are focusing on the beauty standards of the masses and that's like um what's appreciated by you by others so what i mean for that like let's say you have full lips that would be something that a lot of people will appreciate within you or find that beauty something beautiful within you or like right now um big butts are in so that's if you have one that's something that people will see and they'll say wow that that person's got a <laughs> a big booty or something like that or maybe you're just a very curvy person as mars ruled um, women tend to be so there's a lot of uh, um, appreciation and they see that type of sexual like beauty seductress um image within you like it's mars is a very like sexually charged planet so your your type of beauty it can be very like sexual very like physical desirable like uh i just see a lot of i, I see a lot of women described as thick tend to be like mars type so that's that image that's really pushed out there i just i guess currently right now in the the media so Another thing that we have here is the Four of Cups. So this lets me know whenever I see this Four of Cups here is like you may even sometimes not even uh, appreciate the things that um, the other parts of you that are beautiful, basically. I've seen a lot of women or men described as Four of Cups saying like they maybe some people keep complimenting them on their hair or something like that. And because other people keep complimenting on their hair that they forget that they have these other aspects to them that are equally as beautiful. And that's the cards that are saying, they're saying that you have a lot of features and um, things about you that are beautiful that sometimes you don't notice even for yourself or other people may not even notice or appreciate. So you have a type of beauty that sometimes goes unnoticed, which is you know it, it's it happens sometimes but it's it's the cards are saying that yeah you you definitely have that beauty within you you know relax it's not it's not something to i guess get yourself worked up about and i say that only because we have these two fives here and sometimes when we get this five of swords five, sorry when we get this five of pentacles then it becomes about self-esteem issues so that's the only reason I mentioned, like, don't get yourself worked up about um, if you don't feel that great about yourself. You're definitely beautiful. The cards are saying you're, you'll always be beautiful. Like, um, you have very balanced features and it's like you have a very, like, calming presence. The fact that we have temperance and we have the four of swords like two cards that represents having, having this calm, this gentle nature that definitely and another four because you know, Four of Cups is kind of like being secluded, like kind of pulling back away from people a little bit and reflecting and just having that time to yourself. So there's definitely something um, about your presence that's very soothing to people and people will find a beauty within that. But definitely the beauty that comes across is very like, you know, va va voom for you, okay? Even if you don't think that, that's how people are sort of seeing you and definitely whenever I get two fives that's definitely um a lot it can be it can deal with a lot of jealousy or a lot of people may even want to just look like you or have certain you know features like you i've just seen that um quite often with the five cards going on here but without a doubt um sometimes i want to say this sometimes with the five of pinnacles here um this can represent uh Sometimes it represents weight loss. So I don't know if you're planning on doing that or if even just 
planning on changing some aspects. Sometimes it could be like a loss of a feature, like, you know, some people that might get a nose job or something like that. So I don't know if you're planning on doing something like that, but the cards are just kind of throwing that out there and saying like, you know, maybe you feel pressure to conform to some image. Uh, it's not necessarily necessary to get that done, but you know, you may, um, feel like it may bring more balance into your life you'll definitely still have peace of mind so if you're not interested in any of that then you know ignore the message it wasn't for you <laughs> i only mention it too because mars also rules surgery and i've seen a lot of mars rule women like i mentioned marilyn monroe uh wendy williams um they have gotten surgeries to look how they look right marilyn monroe had a nose job chin job and wendy williams i, I know she had like a you know boob job right and then I don't know if she's done anything to her face but but she definitely had that work done and um, I'm trying to think of other Mars ruled women but my mind is like blanking right now I, I really can't think of too many in the 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 moment but that happens um with a lot of Mars rule women. Other Mars rule features would include like having another standard, which is popular, which would be like the supermodel look. So you can look very supermodel-esque to people. If you don't fit that thick image, then you fit may fit like a more long, lengthy, like long legs, you know, thin torso, uh, very pretty face sort of image. That's another popular image, like Victoria's Secret model. Um, I'm trying to think of, of one oh my gosh her name escapes me this is insane and she is a victoria secret model and then you also have what's in the girl's name i was just listening to her song shanette harriet and she is chitra rule she's also a mars ruled woman and um i'm trying to think of a list of people i'm not really good at pronouncing names but z-e-u-d-i um aria which is a r a y a and um very beautiful woman she is also mars ruled so if you're not more of a thick type then it does more of a long elegant very beautiful type so that is the beauty that you embody and i hope that makes sense to you you have very balanced features features for someone uh you're also probably someone who's really pretty decent at makeup because i get the fours um a lot of the times to be someone who doesn't always like rely on natural beauty they they may want to enhance it a little bit more so that's the only reason I say you can be uh, good at makeup but that is all that I have for you guys and I hope that makes sense you are obviously a very stunning person okay almost forgot to say and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and au revoir. Okay, pound number two, let's get into what type of beauty are you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have um, the Ace of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. And we have Neptune, Sacrifice. Okay, so we have some interesting things going on here. With the Wheel of Fortune, because the Wheel of Fortune connects to Jupiter, and what I've noticed about Jupiterian sort of women is Jupiterian women will tend to be a little bit more voluptuous, voluptuous or a little bit thicker. So even if you are someone who's kind of petite, you maybe you're someone who maybe wears a lot of baggy clothes or people may see you like in pictures and think you're a little bit bigger and then they meet you in person and they're like whoa you're like a teeny person so Jupiter's just a planet that rules over expansion so that's why I say when uh you may appear to people to be a little bit bigger or like thicker than you um are or you could literally just be someone who's a little bit thick so it's a beauty that um emphasizes curves i've just seen that very repeatedly with jupiterian um women it's a very like seductress sort of look a little bit different than mars in a sense that i feel like mars can be um more chiseled in terms of being a seductress i have a little bit more muscle whereas jupiter is a little bit more of a, a fat 
a thing. So this is like big thighs. Now, not every Jupiterian uh, woman is like this, but that is the thing. So for men, actually, this will sort of give a more, what's the look, the word I'm looking for? It's not like a, a classically handsome look, but it's a look that comes off very sweet and comforting and like easy to be around. Like it's a, it, you have a look which people don't get, like their hairs aren't coming up from their arms when they see you. They're like, oh my, they're not like creeped out, okay? Um, so it is it is a more comforting thing. I was just talking about this with pile one, how temperance is connected to Sagittarius and how temperance is about that balance, that calm, that feeling safe. And you're like, all right, this is good. Well, obviously Jupiter rules over Sagittarius. And so what this means is that you, your presence is also very like calming and peaceful. And this applies to both men and women, women. <clears throat> And even in the way that Jupiterian people talk, um, I've seen a lot of comments under Jupiterian people's videos saying, you should do ASMR, okay? They were like, because even when they're ma mad, their voices, they don't really yell. I don't see too many Jupiterian people yelling and screaming unless they have other placements. Like their other placements will change it. But if they're Jupiter, Jupiter dominant, then most of them do not like to raise their voice. They kind of talk in a way like they may grit their teeth and be like, okay, well, well, why would you say that? And I don't think like they have this a very steady voice. Okay. It's not very, it's usually not very obnoxious. Now, like I said, it depends on certain placements, but that's the main thing that I've seen throughout. Another thing with Jupiterian energy is that you can come off as someone who is very giving in nature, I guess because of Jupiter's expansive qualities. And not a lot of Jupiterian people will love uh, being part of communities. It's interesting because there's this side of Jupiterian energy which will not wanna be hurt and will have like these loner vibes to it but they desperately desperately more than any placement i have ever seen love being part of a community they do not like just having to be alone all the time they want to do things together they want other people to be in groups they're the type that if they're an artist they would prefer to work in a band rather than go solo or at least they want to create that feeling like everyone matters everyone's important and it's funny because I was just watching an interview today of Feast who is a musical artist I used to listen to back in the day and she has her moon I believe in Punavarsu and she was just saying how she did this documentary on her, but it's not really about her. It's about her and the people that surround her. She was just saying how uncomfortable she felt just being the center of attention and being in the limelight. So maybe you have a type of beauty where you may even want to pull back on your beauty just so that you aren't in in the center all the time. Like maybe you're the type of person who's just like, I don't really need tons of attention. And I say pull back on it because we have Neptune here, but let me focus on this Jupiterian energy where you may even just um, not feel a need to just like shine, shine all the time and, and um, really bring out the best of your features. Uh, you're the type of person who's definitely going to like even hype others, okay? That being said, we have Neptune here. And when I have Neptune, it can be very, like Neptune is like Venus on crack, okay? <laughs> like it's, it's, it's an energy that is so magnetic and it's a planet that is very much uh, entwined with beauty. Uh, I say this, because a lot of people who I've seen have like strong Neptune placements, people will say comments like, this person just seems like so unreal. Like they may have perfect skin or they may have very features that just um, really draw you in, very intense eyes, very high cheekbones, I don't know, full lips, whatever features that you find attractive or something like that. A lot of people will, um, 
just really hone in on somebody who has made strong Neptunian energy because uh, they, they're just pretty. <laughs> I don't know how else to say pretty or handsome or good looking. They're just really good looking people that, um, like I said, a lot of the comments that I would see would seem unreal. Another thing is that they're very talented, but we're focusing on beauty right now. Um, but And the Neptunian energy can be very, very much uh, intense and fantasial. Okay, like it seems like a fantasy that people are um, like, they just seem like the people that just seem unreal. Okay, I don't know how else to uh, ex explain that. But normally the thing is, is the face for the Neptunian people becomes most important. So for you, I would say that you're probably someone who has a very good looking face um, and somebody who is can be very like striking to people. Like, you have a very memorable face uh, and a face that can maybe probably catch people off guard. Another comment that I saw with people who had strong Neptunian energy is that they like almost seduce you without even trying to seduce you. Like they're, they're not trying to energetically be, you know, sensual or sexual, but because the, the presence of Neptune may be so strong with them that they end up uh, kind of having people fall for them without really doing much okay so just being um very I wouldn't even say they're open they're just kind of like most of them are kind of casual with um how they approach things but because they're so uh good looking that it can be like disarming okay so that's that's something that I've noticed so you may have that type of energy where you just people have that reaction towards you. Neptune just really brings out a very attractive face, um, particularly for women. For guys, I've seen it more so. People will really like their presence. They'll like their smile. They'll usually find these people just generally uh, charming or dependable in some sense. Uh, if they don't find them that way, then the other interpretations, they can be a little bit controversial where they can be a little bit more villainized, but this is more to do with looks and in terms of looks for men. This normally gives like a longer sort of face. Their charm really comes from their interactions and how they treat people, which is usually in a very soft and um, respectable manner. So that's really where the, the beauty and the appeal lies within uh, men I've noticed. So with the, the Ace of Swords, so this one I've gotten to be someone who usually will have at least some sort of sharp feature. And if they don't have a sharp feature, then they are generally good at makeup. That's the main message that I have received for the Ace of Swords. It's a very like changeable energy. Okay, it, it's usually one that will give not very large eyes. The eyes will tend to be a little bit more medium to small. And it will usually give a square jaw. And if you don't naturally have a square jaw, you could be someone who probably creates one. I know sometimes I'll do that with my makeup as well. So swords just really come up for me when it just means somebody is uh, skilled with some sort of makeup or glamour like hair or something like that. Six of Swords, however, when it comes to uh, beauty has to do with going through transitions, going through phases, trying different things, um, maybe sort of upgrading your look. That reminds me of one thing with the Neptune quality that I noticed for everyone um, with these strong Neptunian placements and particularly the Ascendant, it was saying how they usually kind of get better with age or even look good at their age. So over time, the um, appearance seems to either improve or people will just find them to be generally just attractive like you know 10 years 20 years later or something like that so you have a beauty that's very long lasting people will probably say things like gorgeous uh, beautiful to you those are the main two words that usually come up when it comes to this Neptunian energy or stunning that's another word that's popularized by this with the five, sorry, with the seven of wands and the eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles is going to be someone who takes a very strong and detailed approach into how they 
look from their heads to their toes they probably put you put a, probably put a lot of work um within your appearance and it shows for people people look at you and say that's an interesting way to do something something about your appearance is just very unique to people and very memorable it's you're not a person who has an easy face to draw or a very um easy person to mimic you have such a very specific look about you so your beauty can be uh very striking I, I i know i've said that before but that's the main word that's coming up from this pile people see you when they're just kind of taken a little bit off uh guard and with the seven of wands here it can be like resting bee face a little bit or it's just saying that when people kind of interact with you they may feel like you know sometimes um people if they're insecure they see someone who looks good and then they feel intimidated and they feel like they need to be on guard so for people who may be a little bit more insecure they may look at you and just feel like they need to be like a little bit on guard maybe they feel like you're going to be mean or maybe they feel like you're going to judge them or something like that or you're like you're looking at them or something so you may get that response where people feel like oh my gosh this person's going to be mean to me this person's going to do something to that and you're just like okay i'm not trying to be mean and anything if anything i've seen neptunian energy to be a very softer energy a very gentle kind energy so that's probably going to be something that resonates with you but your beauty can be very 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 striking that's like the main message that's coming through it just kind of like catches people off guard and it definitely says you go through different phases and they're they're stages of improvement really because when we have jupiter here it's either going to repeat the same cycle it's going to break the cycle and sort of like um improve and you know kind of like oh you get in a relationship that relationship didn't work out so you get another one and this relationship um slightly better maybe some more difficulties but it's not as bad as the last one you get another relationship not as bad as the last one you find a partner is a little bit more relatable um you have things more common communication is better and it's like so the cycle repeats something like that so it's the same thing with your parents it'll go through cycles of just like improvements or maybe even cycles within like it you know uh, sometimes it's like with um losing weight gaining weight losing weight gaining weight because jupiterian energy is related to the fat that you have on your body so that's the only reason i mentioned that and also with the eight of pentacles this can be someone who has sometimes like a little bit more muscle i don't say a lot because if it was a lot then we would probably have like more pentacles available to us and more cards that have to do with stability you definitely have a look that's just easily transformative and then neptune lastly last but not least can be very glamorous so uh I don't know if you're a guy or girl whoever but it can create a look that's classy for guys or you could describe as glamorous for women so that is all i have for you pal number two if you like the comment feel free to like comment and subscribe and i can't wait to see you next time au revoir hey pal number three let's see what type of beauty are you or you are i'm saying that right we have the sun we have the four of wands we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have Saturn the Truth, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Seven of Wands. So right off the bat, when I get like the Saturn and the Sun energy, usually I get it for people who have very like strong features that seem very model-esque or just somebody very um, pretty or attractive, somebody who has people, uh, who has like a face people are drawn to. I'm trying to think of like sun ruled people right now, but my brain is just drawing the biggest blank right now. I think Jada Pickett, wow, Jada Pickett is um, sun ruled. I think she's Utu Tara Falguni, I'm pretty sure. So it's like a very strong features, but very, usually pretty face, uh, more than likely. But really, the appeal lies within, I guess, the sexuality. They seem more like, it's more of a sexy sort of look. I think Megan Fox is also has um, her son in a sun-ruled placement, like astrologically I'm talking about when I mention people being like sun-ruled and having sun-ruled placements. So it gives them more of like a sexy look. Now Saturnian is more of the model-esque look. It gives you very like strong bone structures and a more like even 
face because you got to remember Saturn is exalted in the sign of Libra and Libra is the sign of balance. So Saturn really tries to give more balanced features, more structured features, um, strong abs, strong muscles. Saturn is the planet of control. I mean, what says more about control than having very strong um, muscles and very defined face? So there's something about, I guess, your face or maybe you just have a lot of muscle or something like that, then that would be very... Um, that's very much appealing to people. They like your bone structure. There we go. Gosh, that was hard to say. <laughs> um, another thing with the Ten of Pentacles is I get this to mean like somebody may get better with age. So it's, there's like this appeal to you where you get even more beautiful as time goes on, especially with the planet Saturn here being the sign of transformation. Its lowest position, which is like Pusha, is probably one of the most popular placements for somebody being very, very attractive. A lot of people are drawn to that type of person. In fact, like I was doing some research on like, I know a while ago on OkCupid, there was this study of like the most popular, most attractive people. And one of the most popular women, she had her son in Pusha. And um, Pusha just becomes one of those very, very popular places that people are drawn into, especially for women. So, like, Gabrielle Union would be somebody who has push your placements, um, Halle Berry, uh, Angelina Jolie, trying to think of more people, like, just, like, some of the most popular um, people that people throw out there physically. Um, Dorothy Dandridge, Dandridge is um, another one. And back in her day, she was probably one of the most popular looks. So it gives you kind of like this very sweet but structured look for women, which a lot of people will like, okay? So, <clears throat> so you have that seductive quality. You have that sweet quality to you. You also have that very structured feature and the getting better with time. Another thing that makes you just very, very beautiful and appealing to people is the fact that you have this... Um, very, very happy go-getter personality. Like, people will really be drawn in by your smile for the most part. That's something that I get a lot when it comes to just having these two cards together. Like, if they were alone, then I probably wouldn't say this. But because they're together and the sun's about having fun and the four of pinnacles about having fun. So, you have a, probably somebody who has a very beautiful smile. Uh, another thing I've noticed with people who have, like, some sun-ruled placements is usually the hair is very... Full? I don't know what else um, to say about that. It doesn't necessarily have to be long. I would say that's some, more of like a moon thing, but like it, it's like just a lot of it, like thick hair, full hair. It doesn't mean, doesn't mean it's long. So you may just have like really nice hair. Ace of Pentacles here would be something body related, like a, a feature that particularly stands out to people. For a lot of you, it's going to be your smile. It could even be your lips, though these combination don't necessarily give like full lips from what I'm seeing. Not to say that you don't have them. It's just saying that's not the feature that's drawing people in the most. Um, but it would probably have to do more with... Um, if I would just think about probably like the way you move, don't you know how certain people move a certain way? Like you may walk a certain way that's attractive. Like I know Marilyn Monroe had a walk that she would, you know, turn on and off. So you may walk a certain way that's attractive. You may enter a room with a lot of confidence, you may enter a room with your head high. So it's just something about um, bodily movements that would make somebody very attractive. And we have the Seven of Wands here. You know, Seven of Wands really comes about putting effort into something so it it doesn't it's interesting here because it could mean that you're putting effort into the way you dress or it could be saying i'm putting effort into working out or like effort into like a specific feature which would be like skincare or taking care of your hair or taking i'm sorry taking care of your nails or something like that like something that's going to be like a bodily feature they mean like oh wow you have really nice skin oh wow you have very like i don't know luscious hair you have very nice nails you have very you know long 
fingers. I don't know. <laughs> you know, some people like certain things about you. So it's a certain feature that people would be drawn into. And it's going to be like a natural feature that's just mainly genetic, but you do put a lot of effort into maintaining it or keeping it. Whatever you're putting the most effort into maintaining and keeping, that's the thing that people really stand out. That really stands out to people for you like if maybe you're a person who whitens their teeth or really spends a lot of time brushing their teeth and that people are looking at you like wow you have nice teeth um, especially with saturn here and saturn being rule ruler of like hair skin nails teeth so something about that is going to be very important to what is making you very physically beautiful and we are focusing mainly on the physical here um, so that's the reason I mentioned the physical beauty. Personality wise, obviously, you're going to have a lot of wonderful traits about you. You're going to be very intelligent. I mean, people are going to see that within you. They're going to see that you're very hardworking. They're going to see that you have a plan in place, that you're somebody who's um, very ambitious, that you're somebody who's really spending time making proper investments and want somebody who's willing to be open-minded towards new ideas and new investments and new projects like they just see you as a very open-minded person but it's really not to do with your communication or anything at all i don't see anything pertaining to speech or voice so it's not like you have it's not like they're saying you have an ugly voice it's just saying that that's not the main thing that people find attractive about you um if you've chosen this pile maybe you have like a combination pile of something and maybe you do have a good voice and get compliments on it but like nothing in the cards is like indicative of that i mean with the sun here it could be a deep voice i've seen saturnian to be like a more i don't know it's like a sultry uh velvety voice but it's not necessarily like um not necessarily deep um who's somebody saturnian i think scarlett johansson um, so she has that, like, that sultry voice that, you know, she's, like, did that movie Her, right? And she's kind of known for the way that she talks in that manner, but you wouldn't say her voice is deep, right? So those are the things that people find highly attractive about you, pile number three. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me at Astro underscore Tarot Research on Instagram, and I cannot wait to see you guys next time. Au revoir. Okay, pile number four, let's find out what kind of beauty are you. We have the two of wands. We have the, sorry, knight of cups. We have the tower. And we have the Chariot, I believe that is. And we have the Two of Pentacles and Uranus. Interesting that we have two cards representing being unique. So that lets me know there's something about your features that really stand out. You have a very unusual look to you. Um, another thing I've noticed about with Uranus and the two of wands is like any sort of change in hair color is very like i don't know like i don't know the word for it. it's not shocking but it, it just makes such a huge difference in the people who have uranus uh <laughs> I guess strong placements like if you have moon conjunct Uranus, sun conjunct Uranus, Uranus and the ascendant I've noticed when they change their hair color it's like whoa it's almost like they've changed their whole face or something like that another thing I've noticed with these two is people will really like you with red hair okay so don't know why <laughs> I'm just going by my research and what I've seen so those two placements are gonna be like wow I really like that red hair on you or something like that or maybe like a reddish tone to it. So with these two here is, is definitely we have a lot of flexibility with your um, beauty. Because twos are all about like experimenting, planning, changing things, trying to... Uh, you know, find out who you are as an individual, find out who you are as a person or like a, a creative, uh, whatever circumstances. It's just that, that phase in between that's like, okay, I'm kind of just trying to do things. I'm trying to juggle some things and throw some ideas out there. So people will find you to be very, very like, maybe you change your appearance a lot or maybe, like I said before, if you get like a haircut, change your hair color, 
then people are like, whoa, this is such a huge change. So you have that duality in your beauty where you could probably take on a lot of different forms and inhabit all sorts of beauty styles and types, okay? So you have a lot of options available to you. But another thing I've noticed with Uranus in particular is that people will tend to like these people more with their natural um, hair color. So natural hair color or red, as I said before, or red-ish. People will like them more with a natural look. I'm not sure or what, why, um, but that's just the the um, feedback that I had seen with that placement. And when we have the tower here, wow, I usually get the tower to mean being like statuesque, but I know everyone who's gonna click on this is not going to be tall. So like, <laughs> you're not all going to be giants picking on this, but if you are tall, people will notice that about you and they'll like that. They'll maybe like that you have really long legs. The tower can also mean that you can be a little bit more intimidating in terms of just maybe your face or how you're standing or something like that. It's just saying that that's the type of beauty you have. It can be just like shocking. Or it, can, it can throw people off because Uranus is also a card of you know, taking people by surprise. So maybe you're just one of those people like when you dress down, you know, you're really dressed down. And then when you put on a nice outfit, you get cleaned up, people are just like really thrown off and taken aback. That's like one of the number one um, responses. It's that ability to shock people or to catch people off guard when it comes to Uranus and the tower. So that's something that's um, going on with you. You just have a type of beauty that just very transformative and very surprising. Like people just don't didn't know you could go from like zero to 100, okay? Another thing with the Knight of Cups, I usually get court cards, but particularly cup cards. For me, the universe usually communicates that when I get cups and um, their court cards, it usually means that somebody's very pretty or very like an attractive looking face and because we have the knight of cups then it's more youthful but maybe you have slightly more masculine features you know how like Angelina Jolie has like that square jaw but you know obviously she's you know a woman but um that's the only reason I say that because I think about why didn't we get the page of cups here which would have been a very feminine um very very feminine look we got this Knight of Cups, and Knights is a slightly more masculine look. So there may be, you may have some features if you're a girl that come off very masculine. Obviously, you're a guy, and you're just known for being a pretty boy, right? Um, the Chariot here connects to the sign of Cancer. So one thing that I've noticed, especially in Vedic astrology, is when we get into the sign of Cancer, you're dealing with a lot of focus on intimacy and close connection. Like that is the number one theme that I personally seen by studying Cancer. Because right now I'm in the, the throes of studying Punavarsu and as a default, I'm studying like Pusha. Uh, there it's weird because they're ones that are like they feel so different but um, but what they both deal with is um, close intimacy like very close kind of like one-on-one -on -one, um, reactions there's this artist and I'm I, pff, let me get his name right the artist is Gustav Kilmet and he has his at least I think that's it's like K-L-I-M-T he has one of his most famous paintings called The Kiss and it's just like this man and this woman sort of like wrapped around each other in a garden and you know like I said his son is in Punavarsu and a lot of Punavarsu people will have a lot of fame in regards to artistically making things that have to do with I guess one-on-one -on -one reactions that are romantic doesn't I guess doesn't have to be romantic but like Something that's just very close and has to do with bonding, okay? Um, or even feeling like something that was intimate, that was supposed to be like for you, was taken from you because you have another artist. Her name is like Artissima um, Dentilshev. I can't pronounce people's names, but it's G E N T I L E S. C H I and she's also son and Punavarsu and what you have here is someone who is 
had this painting and it's like written from the female perspective and how the male gaze um, affects them. Because um, I remember she had written about how uncomfortable she felt, or at least maybe shown through her paintings, how comfortable she felt as a child while her dad had these parties and these older male figures would kind of just like stare at her in a way that just made her very uncomfortable. So it's like feeling this sort of like violation. So sometimes it's like a violation of something that is intimate to you, which is your physical body. So when we're talking about cancer, we're talking about intimacy. And how does that relate to your beauty? What this has to do with is people will find you beautiful because it feels like when you're speaking to them, you're speaking like maybe directly to their soul. So that's something that you embody. Like they'll feel like you are paying close attention to them, like you're connecting with them, you're listening to them, you're having one-on-one -on -one conversations with them, and it doesn't, it that's something that's like really, really prevalent for you. Like you have a way that doesn't make people feel like they're uncomfortable around you, and maybe they can feel like they can open up. So Meghan Markle's another one, is like Punavarsa Rising, and you saw how she did that, um, open tell all the interview with open uh, with oprah where she was just opening up and being very emotionally raw and speaking on in the interview how she just felt like she experienced a lot of emotional turmoil being within the royal family because there was that coldness there was that lack of um, care, which somebody who has Punavarsu is really not going to be able to deal with very well. It's it's a it's a softer natured um, placement, and so it, it definitely needs definitely needs those interactions. So that's something about your beauty that, like we, you just feel like good company to people. I don't know why your presence is so important, but it is to um, a lot of people just having you interact with them. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything that I'm missing. You may get off a very like sexual vibes. Sometimes I get the tower to be like somebody's like very sexually charged in a way. But for me, it just kind of feels like these cards feel very like transformative. Like you can go from looking like a bum to like looking like a superstar. That's the main feeling that I'm getting just being the fact that the tower is surrounded by these two cards. So that change just becomes very shocking to people. I'm trying to think of anything else. Maybe you have a very quirky, unique sense of style that a lot of people will like and um, or just feel like you visually put things together well. And that um, that makes you stand out to people. And that's another thing that makes you uh, beautiful, the way that you dress or present yourself, okay? But you have a definitely, you're one of those people who definitely has just like an unusual sense of beauty um like just very like i don't know i don't want to see the word exotic because i don't like to describe people as exotic but a lot of people just aren't used to seeing people who look like you okay that's just one of the more important messages of your cards and that's pretty much what i'm mainly getting just your ability to transform look different connect to people on an intimate level sometimes being a little bit more sexy than people would have expected or just having that ability to change you know styles and uh looks and being able to just you know, obviously, like I said, very pretty face, maybe a little bit more certain masculine features, which are a good balance for you. Um, and just being able to just kind of look different, like just look like, wow, I've never seen somebody who looks like that. Like you aren't blending in with the crowd at all. OK, <laughs> so that's something that really draws people in to you. But that's all I have for you, pal number four. I don't want to keep blabbing on about the same thing. The cards were very clear with um, what makes you very, very beautiful, the type of beauty you are to people. And I don't want to waste any more your time here. So I hope I will see you guys next reading. Au revoir. Hey, pal number five. Let's figure out what type of beauty you are. We have the King of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords. Uh, we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Ace of Swords, as well as the Moon. Okay, so right off the bat, 
what I'm getting is that you are a heartbreaker because whenever I get the moon, one thing I've noticed by studying the moon nakshatras is they attract a lot of people, like a lot of different people. And it would be, it's really not too difficult for moon um, people, people to get dates. Like they, they're those type of people that just like always seem to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or always seem to be going on dates and something like that. It doesn't necessarily mean they're like somebody who's compatible with them, but they don't really have issues attracting people at all. The, uh, the moon's energy is just very like nurturing. So people are like drawn into it. And so I'm guessing your energy is like that as well, which gives you sort of this reputation of like a heartbreaker in a way for people. Now it doesn't necessarily mean you're dating a lot of people, but you will attract a lot of people. And I feel like other people are feeling like, wow, this person's um, they just look like a heartbreaker and maybe even are one, okay? When I get the King of Wands, first of all, any wands that I get to describe someone, court cards, is usually just they're very, uh, it's like a sexy look, like they're more voluptuous rather than someone, or even just curvy, rather than someone who's like more thin or something like that, they'll be more like, a, um, I guess a, a cardi b shape i guess after her surgery and stuff so it's just more voluptuous look more curvy look that people will go for in fact moon rule people that i've seen will usually at least i've seen quite a few one particular placement get a lot of surgery i think it's asta which is cardi b's placement and i've seen them get a lot of surgeries for like hips butts um stomach lipo like so not saying that you're doing any of that but there is this feeling for moon rule people where they want to sort of fit in and fit and live up to society standards so people may see you as like society's you know standard of beauty like they see you meeting those requirements or maybe even just aspects about you meeting those beauty standards doesn't mean like all of you is be meeting the beauty standard but they see that and so um things like that are in right now would be like full lips curvy um voluptuous you know, I think long hair is always the same for girls. Uh, and short hair is usually pretty much standard for guys. I'm trying to think of anything else that's like, there's so many different standards for beauty right now. Like the, the long lashes, the, the nails that I have like right now. Like, so there's just a lot of things that people will see and be like, okay, this person looks like what I picture when I see like a movie and they're describing someone beautiful. Another thing with the moon is it does kind of rule the face and it gives a very softer look and a softer sweet face. So they may see that you are like a soft kind of sweet look to you or even maybe an innocent look to you. Um, it just gives a more friendly, more approachable sort of face. And it's like very full and very round like the moon. Like, I mean, literally, if you just look at moon world people, you'll notice they, they don't have, most of their faces aren't chiseled. Um, maybe guys somewhat, but... Um, not with women. So uh, moon rule guys, I would say they're more like, I'm trying to think of someone um, like Denzel Washington. Uh, it's not like he's his face is like super defined like you would have with someone who's more sort Saturnian, which would be like Jason Momoa, like he would be a more Saturnian look. So it just gives, but it gives a very approachable look, right? If you just think of how Denzel Washington looks versus very Jason versus Jason Momoa, who can be a little bit more of an intense look, right? Just compare and contrast, right? So that's another thing. And then with the page of pinnacles here, you have a, a youthfulness to your appearance, which definitely attracts and draws people in. And you just come off to people as somebody who just seems very energetic and very open and very like, like you help it feels like inviting your inner like your beauty just seems like inviting more so intimidating and just like sweet i don't know what else to say about that with the ace of swords though i do get this sometimes to mean someone is just like really either good at makeup or they change their makeup looks a lot or they they're just very skilled at i mean it's usually makeup but it could be hair too but it's like you're skilled in creating a look and people will notice that they may be like oh my gosh i like how you did your eyebrows i like how you did your hair or for guys um for guys it's not obviously makeup but it would probably be like a haircut i mean 
guys don't really do it's not really like at least not um in america there's not really a huge push towards guys wearing makeup or stuff like that but so i guess for the ace of swords it would be more like a, a haircut um a like trimming um I color your hair or something like that so there's definitely like a manipulation to the f manipulation in a good way like manipulation to make yourself look presentable or make yourself look more glamorous so people will notice about you and they'll find that very flattering and thinks it looks good for you um eight of swords that's like someone who has like this beauty that feels like if I don't say something now, like I kind of like won't even ever see this person again. Like it's like, I don't like, <laughs> like they kind of feel like if somebody was interested in you that they have to speak to you like right now. Cause they're like, I'm not going to see someone who, you know, looks like you again for quite some time. So they, they're really want to, going to want to approach you, but mainly it's, it's a, it's a beauty that's very subtle youthful um very sweet very f more feminine even if it's a guy I found that moon rule guys is not like very very like i said not very chiseled look it's um a softer more beauty a very more uh, let me stop saying uh it's a more f feminine i don't even know how else i could possibly describe the way that moon ruled people look there's who am i thinking of leonardo dicaprio he's another one who would be moon ruled so you see how it becomes like very approachable very sweet very like bright eyed so that's how people are like perceiving you to be okay so you just have a nurturing look towards you whether that's guy or girl um but definitely youthful, 100%. But it's also some of you got the va va voom thing going on. I'm trying to think of anyone else that I could possibly think of to give an example of someone being moon ruled. Alicia Keys. And you can see how her look is a little bit of a softer look. Like you wouldn't describe her as like the Instagram model look, rigid, would you? you? It's kind of like a, she just has like a sweet look to her, like a, like a nice, <laughs> nice, nice look to her. I don't, I don't know what else to say, but that type of beauty, um, which radiates, maybe sultry could be a good word for that. Cause she has that like sultry sort of look, which I have seen moon rule people have. Or like Shakira, very cutesy. That's another word. This is like the power for where you could possibly be just a lot of people may describe you as very cute. So I hope that describes everything that I have been trying to come across and and um, I hope I've been saying everything correctly. It's basically what I'm trying to say. People see you as very cutesy, but you also have that sort of sexiness to you, but you have a more like approachable, sweet energy. And people think that you may possibly just break a lot of hearts. And um, there is that element where they feel like you would meet like parts of you really do meet the beauty standards of what it is to be sort of beautiful. But at the same time, um, not not all of you it doesn't necessarily mean like, every single part of you meets that but like um, they definitely see that like you they you're what people picture when they sort of think of like oh this person is what people would see as pretty or handsome okay so that is all I have for you about number five if you like comment and subscribe I'm just gonna say the same thing the card's been saying over and over again if I keep going on you know, one thing about moon people that I've seen, they're usually not very tall. So you could people can find you maybe short in stature or um, petite. Not always, but usually that's the main thing. So that's the only thing I would add to this. But that is all, and I hope to guys, I hope to see you guys next time. Gosh, I can't speak. Um, thank you for watching, and it has been a pleasure to read for you. Au revoir.